Good evening. Welcome to the parent meeting for students with Plato classes. Before I get started, I just want to go over a few reminders. This meeting is going to be recorded. I'm going to ask that you keep your mics on mute and cameras are optional. My name is Ms. Linda Guijosa and um, I moved here to California from Washington State. Uh, my family is from Guanajuato and I do come from a big family. Uh, I'm an aunt of 22. I have 22 nieces and nephews. And um, I'm really excited to be here at Wonderful College Prep Academy. Um, during my time here, I'm excited to share my passion for education with the students and also support them with their studies. Um, I will be um, in charge of all of the things related to Plato classes here at the school. So during this meeting, I'm going to go over what Plato is, what we expect from the students, what resources we have available for the students, and how you can support your child at home. And towards the end, we will have some time to answer your questions as well. First, Plato is a program that offers classes online, and it is designed to help students make up classes that they previously failed or in which they received a D or an F, and the class is needed for graduation or to apply to colleges later in the future. If your child is enrolled in a Plato class, this is in addition to classes that they are, are already taking in person here at the school. And on the left here, you can see an example of what the website looks like when students first access their classes. After they log in, they'll be able to see um, an overview of the course. They can see the title of the class and also their progress. They can see how many assignments they've completed and the total amount of assignments as well. Here on this example, this uh, person has completed three assignments out of 35. In the course, they will also be able to see the orientation and the syllabus for the class. And each course also has um, various units and each unit will be broken down with different assignments. There will be a pre-test pre in each unit, and the pre-test at the beginning is an opportunity for the students to demonstrate what they already know. And afterwards, they will be assigned the sections for the topics that they still need to learn. For the topics that they already know, they will be exempt from those uh, topics with a blue star. So the blue star means that they do not need to complete the homework assignment that has the blue star next to it. Each section also has a tutorial and they also um, have an opportunity to practice and it will have a mastery test. The tutorial is one way that the student will learn the topic that they are being um, tested on and asked to learn about for the section. Each unit also has a discussion, it has course activities, unit activities, sometimes teacher graded activities, a mastery test and um, a post test. So our expectation is that students are completing each of those sections unless they are exempted with a blue star. Another thing to note is that um, for each class, there is an end of semester test. And this end of semester test is worth 20% of the final grade. So this is where the students need to um, show their best work. So what do we expect from the students? We expect students to study at home for at least two to four hours per week. And this can be after school, um, during their free time or on the weekends. We also expect students to ask for help if there is a topic that they don't understand or if they are struggling with an assignment. Students are also expected to earn at least 70% uh, on all of their work to be able to pass the class. And the last day that students can turn in work for Plato classes is going to be May 1st. It is really important to note here that if students receive zero or less than a C, they will have to retake the Plato course. So what resources do we have available for the students? 
We will be having tutoring available um, Monday through Thursday at seven o'clock with Mr. Martinez. And that's going to be um, through Zoom and it's going to start on February 22nd. We also have a website called canacademy.org, and this is an ed educational support website that has videos that can explain subjects like math, science, biology, chemistry, history, and others as well. Students can also look up um, videos on YouTube that are related to the subject in their class. So for example, um, a math video that talks about the um, Pythagorean theorem or polynomials, for example. And here at the school through Wonderful Education, we also have the tutor.com service. And this is a place where students can log in using their uh, Wonderful Education uh, email and they can access tutors or request a tutor there. It is a free service. And I do have um, these flyers. If students are interested in learning how to log in, they can see me in the counseling center in room 441 and I can give them a flyer. So how can you support your child at home? It's important to remind them to log into their account and complete the assignments. Um, they can have distractions removed like the TV or their cell phone. And it's also important to have a dedicated time to do homework three or four times a week. And this can include weekends. A designated area is also helpful in the kitchen or in the living room or a place where they can have adult super supervision so that they are not playing video games or are on the computer. Um, a family member can also be uh, reached out to like a cousin or an older sibling that can help um, the student with challenging subjects. If students have any questions or any concerns about their Plato class or if they need any kind of support, they can always contact me as well. Um, this is my phone number here or through my email address at um, linda.guijosa at wonderfulcollegeprep.org.